Oh yeah, what's up guys? This is Curse Pike. My friends call me Big C. I'm back in action today. We're continuing our Hit Film Express video series where I teach you how to edit videos like a professional using only free software and free tools. That's right guys. For those of you that are new to YouTube or you're even thinking about getting started on YouTube and you're not sure where to start, Start with us here at Freedom. We're going to make you the best video editor you know, and we're going to show you how to do it for free using free tools. Sounds pretty good? It is. All right, today's video, I'm going to show you how to relight or add light to your footage. Now, before I show you, there's a million different scenarios where you would want to use this, but some of the things that I've seen come up is, let's say you're out there filming on your phone, and you get some footage at night and it's too dark and you can't see something in it or you're doing a, a class project and you're filming it but you don't got the writing quite light or it's too dark out and you're not sure if you got the footage or you can't see something in the video etc etc you can relight them with just synthetic options and synthetic um, effects and let me show you how to do it so let's just take a look here so I'll show you the original footage right here I've just got this sh shot here of just an outside you know dark as heck there's a lamp post up there it's not very well lit as you can see let's go ahead now and take a look at the finished product and I'll show you how I did it the first one here it's been relit to look like this it's a little brighter you'll see here a little bit more detail you will also notice that there's a little bit of more grain in this and that's you know that is what it is you can't really do too much about that but it does introduce some grain but if we turn the effect on and off this is the original shot, which is quite dark and hard to see. And this is the relit shot. This is, again, relit using uh, effects. This is not relit using external lighting of any type. This one here is the original shot. Again, you've seen it a few times now. Let's see if I can load it up. All right, Curtis, come on now. Let's go right here. This is the uh, original shot. Dark, leveled, also look nice. It also has a little bit more of a blue color cast to it, which is actually quite popular in scary films and horror films but anyways there's a little bit of a color blue color a blue tinge tint to it but hey all good here's the third shot right here i'm going to go ahead and turn it off and turn it on this was used using the curves functionality so again guys these are the three different ways to do it let's go ahead and start with clip one clip one here i've got a brightness and contrast on this so this is the probably the easiest way to do it let me show you. I'm going to delete the. F I'm going to delete it right here. I'm just going to remove it, and we're going to start from scratch. So here's the shot, and I want to relight it. Here is technique number one. We're going to go to brightness and contrast. So I've gone to the effects window here, and then I've scrolled down, and you'll see color correction. Under color correction, you're going to see brightness and contrast. So left click on this. You'll notice that it does not have an orange button to it. That means it's free to use, which is what we're going for here. So left click on brightness and contrast drag and drop it onto your clip now i've done it but it hasn't done anything yet and that's fine what you'll notice is that the brightness and the contrast are set to zero each so here's where we go ahead and make some adjustments what i'm going to do is i'm just going to increase the brightness so we've got it at let's say let's go let's really sell the effect okay let's go for like 20. Okay, that looks okay, but it's lost the contrast. It's kind of blurred out. It's just like this fuzzy haze. So I'm going to jack up the contrast to, like, let's say, 16. That's looking pretty good. Let's go ahead and increase the brightness to 36, and then increase the contrast. And you're going to see here that as I do that, I'm kind of liking this look. And again, this is completely up to you, the look you're going for. But all you got to do is you got to click on this check mark. This is the original shot. This is the adjusted shot. It's subtle. This is a very subtle effect. Uh, this isn't the brightest, but you can, of course, jack it way up and go for something like this. So if we have the contrast at 100 and the brightness at like 54, here you can see off, on. This can save you a lot of headache, especially if you're a film student or you're out filming at night and you're not sure what you got. This is technique number one. That's how you do it. Let's go to technique number two. The second piece of footage here I've got, you'll see here that I've used the auto levels effect. So I'm going to turn it off. This is the original shot. This is the new shot. I'm going to delete this and we're going to do it from scratch. So I'm just going to right click, remove. All right. 
How do we do it? We go to effects, we go to auto levels. Let's go auto, type it in here. Now you'll notice here that I just typed it in here. So instead of going through the, the tree, I just typed in the effect auto and there we go, auto levels. Left click on it, drag and drop it onto the footage, right like that, okay? Presto, this automatically calculates and you will notice that this one, unlike the last effect, has made some calculations and it's made a pretty big one. Now, in my opinion, it's overdone it. So this is a little bit too bright. And if you look carefully, you're going to see here that there's some artifacting, there's some noise and some grain that you really don't want if you can avoid it. So let's see if we can change that. I'm going to go ahead and start blending this with the original. Watch what I'm doing here. So what's happening is, is I've gone ahead and taken, it's basically made a copy of it, of the shot with the effect. And as we blend it, it's the percentage of the effect that's being applied to the original shot. So in this case, I'm going to go with something like 50%. So here we go. Let's take it click on and off. This is the original shot. And when I click on, this is the new shot. Again, notice that this does have a blue color cast and a blue tinge, which is quite a bit different than this one. This one managed to keep without adding in any blue. This has kept the sepia color cast. So do note there are two different ways to do it, uh, like I've shown you. Depending on the effect that you're going for, this one looks a little more natural, but this one looks a little bit more like you started out with the sepia or you wanted this type of look or this sort of color uh, correction and that's what you were going for. So both are fine depending on what you're looking for. Also keep in mind you can increase the threshold. So if you want to increase it to like a high percentage like this, this doesn't look quite right. It looks a little bit too bright and there's a little bit way too much, actually way too much um, artifacting and noise. But if you ram up the original, if you blend up with the original quite a bit, you'll see that this is actually workable. So you can go to a higher threshold and a much higher blend. And let's go ahead and look at this. Off, on. So do keep in mind, those are the factors that you can adjust. Let's look at the third way to salvage some dark footage and some footage that you just didn't quite like and you want to add some light in. Okay, here's the original shot. Let's go and see what's on. I'm going to left click on it. And you're going to see that I'm using the curves effect. Now, for those of you that are good at Photoshop, you're going to know exactly where this is going. But let's go ahead and take this curves out and start from scratch. So I'm going to remove it. And we're going to go back to the effects. And just like last time, I'm just going to type in what I'm looking for. And I type in curves. And I like curves, people. All right, cool. And you're going to see under color corrections, curves. Excellent. I'm going to left click on that. I'm going to drag and drop it onto the footage. There we go, Curtis. This one does nothing to start because when you look at curves, you're going to see here this is a straight line here, but we can go ahead and start making a, some adjustments. Now, I like to go big at the start so you can see what I'm talking about. So I'm going to just click on this little button here, or pardon me, on this right here at the top right. I'm just going to move it all the way to the left. And when I do that, just that one thing changes this completely. Now I'm going to hit spacebar and presto, this is relit. And if I go up here and I turn it off, this is the original, this is relit. Now, this is not relit perfectly, don't get me wrong, but you will see that this is how you do it. Now, if I want it to be a little different, so I can go ahead in here and I can change the curve. So if depending on the look you're going for, if you want it super dark, go dark. If you want it super bright, but maybe that's too much, you can see here that I'm just clicking on it and I'm just pulling it in as I see fit, depending on what you're looking for. And you can experiment with this as you see fit. But those are the three ways to go ahead and add lighting into footage, into dark footage. All of this is done inside HitFilm Express. All of this is done for free. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I have a ton more stuff coming up. Stay tuned. I will be back soon.